Today, a crew of two Americans, one European and one Japanese astronaut will set off on a six-month science mission to the world's only orbiting laboratory. At 5.49 this morning Eastern Time, NASA astronauts Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, European Space Agency astronaut Toma Pesquet, and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Aki Hoshide will lift off from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center as part of the agency's commercial crew program. This crew will relieve the four Crew-1 astronauts who have been living and working on station since November. This will be the first time that SpaceX reuses both a first stage and a Crew Dragon capsule. This booster supported the Crew-1 mission and the capsule, Dragon Endeavor, flew astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the space station in last year's history-making Demo-2 test flight. There we have our first look inside the suit-up room at the Neil Armstrong ONC building. We can see the astronauts have gotten into their suits and are now working with SpaceX suit technicians and the closeout team, excuse me, SpaceX uh, suit closeouts for uh, doing checks on the umbilicals for, it looks like they're getting ready to get into their chairs. This is such a historic room that anyone who walks in it, whether you're an astronaut or not, you just feel like you're catapulted in time to a period where um, this all began. And there's a view of uh, Megan MacArthur being helped by the suit technicians. Uh, she happens to be the wife of Bob Behnken, and she's going to be flying in the space, uh, the same spacecraft in the same seat uh, as her husband mm -hmm. in the pilot seat. But, of course, she's got her own, own custom-made <laughs> yeah. suit on. Yep, all of these suits were designed in-house at SpaceX. We took safety, comfort, and style all into account. That's our commander, Shane Kimbrough. Um, and he's basically sitting in a mock-up of, of the chair that he will be seated in inside Crew Dragon. So while they're seated inside Crew Dragon, they actually have an umbilical plugged into their suit that flows cool air through, that, through the suit to keep them cool and comfy, as well as communications uh, umbilicals and, and power. So it's really important to make sure that we do these fit-ups here so that there are, really aren't any surprises once we get into Dragon Capsule out on the pad. And the helmets that they're wearing are also custom printed using 3D printing technology. Um, so that's a really exciting technological advancement since the shuttle days. Uh, in the, the room shot we saw just a minute ago, and there's uh, Megan MacArthur getting helped into her uh, gloves in her spacesuit. Uh, but we saw, if we could take the wide shot of that room, we saw um, another astronaut there it was uh, in the foreground, number 38. That's Jessica Meir. Uh, she is a member of the pad closeout team. So you'll, we'll see her here in the suit up room. Um, and she'll also be headed to the white room a little later to provide crew support. And here they come, the crew two astronauts taking their first steps outside before their journey to space. I love this moment. They're now going to have the opportunity to wave goodbye from a safe distance. Um, the distance is normal protocol uh, for, for spaceflight. This is not a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This would be in place even if, if, that, even if we didn't have that situation going on. Um, but I love this moment. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity to see the astronauts get some final farewells from their friends and family members. And we've got Shane and Megan to the right of your screen, Toma and Aki to the left. Uh, there's, uh, there's Shane's wife. 
Shane and his wife posing for a socially distanced photo. Yes. <laughs> And it looks like Bob Benkin is there in a blue polo with uh, the son of he and Megan MacArthur. Yeah, there's a better shot of Bob, Megan, and their son. What an experience as their son to yeah. do this twice. <laughs> Get to see dad and mom go to space. He's going to think this is normal the yeah. way every <laughs> all kids experience. And you can see on the license plate of that Tesla, Recycle. Um, you can't see it from this shot, but the other two Teslas in this convoy have Reduce and Reuse. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So the first one is cool. Reduce, the second one is Reuse, and this one is Recycle. <laughs> ONC departure on schedule. So there's the convoy there on your screen. They just passed behind us just moments ago on their way to pad 39A. Now, if you're wondering what the crew is listening to in the first car with Shane and Megan, um, I'm not sure which one they're listening to this instant, but they had selections like Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters, a personal favorite of mine, uh, Crazy Train, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Enter Sandman, Metallica. I was listening to that one on my way in today. <laughs> City of Blinding Lights, U2. Uh, and in Aki and Tomas' car, um, Drops of Jupiter. That is uh, a, a classic, uh, Paradise City by Guns N' Roses, and of course, Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little Top Gun action, I love it. And Tracy, this is the same pad, of course, that you launched from years ago. Yes, uh, very fond memories of it um, on my flight. As we got out of the Astro van, uh, the pilot on our flight uh, on STS-118, Charlie Hobaugh, who we called Scorch, um, paused and uh, looked up at the uh, stack and he stopped my uh, crewmate, fellow rookie, uh, Barbara Morgan and I to pause and take a look at this mammoth spacecraft we were about to f fly on because he said this is going to be the last time you see this view. And um, we, uh, I, I'll never forget that moment. It was very meaningful to me. I cherish it. Uh, but Barbara and I realized we, we got to hurry up. This, we don't want to miss our first launch. And so we, <laughs> we scooted on, and he, he stayed there um, pausing to, to look at it. And I'll always remember that. So there we can see Shane and Megan have made their way up the tower. They're now, they're now climbing the stairs to the level where the crew arm is located. And we can see the astronauts inside the crew access arm. That walkway here are uh, Commander Shane Kimbrough and pilot Megan MacArthur. Uh, making their way up behind them are uh, ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet and JAXA astronaut uh, Aki Hoshide. And we'll be seeing them uh, make their way. Oh, there they are coming up the steps. And they'll be uh, stopping to use the phone. Shane and Megan uh, already had the opportunity to do that. That phone is uh, up where you see uh, the person in the black suit. That looks like Jessica Meir, number 38, part of the uh, closeout team at the pad. And this is a shot inside the white room, astronaut Shane Kimbrough to the left of your screen. And to the right, you can see the side hatch of the Crew Dragon Endeavor is open. Um, in preparation for the next milestone, which will be uh, crew ingress in just a few minutes. And we got some really cool views of the s second two astronauts walking through the crew arm, making their way to the Dragon capsule. And to, protect, to help protect against debris, the crew has covers on their boots as well as on their umbilical port on their suits that need to be removed before they can ingress. And once the FOD check was complete uh, for the first two astronauts, uh, Commander Shane Kimbrough ingressed first, followed by Megan. And then next up, we will have Aki and Toma, who just made it to the white room that you can see on your left-hand screen. 
we've got a cool view looking from outside of the Dragon capsule in through the hatchway. And some fist bumps there <laughs> <laughs> from the suit techs to the astronauts. It's an exciting day for, for everyone, really. The anticipation, I can't even imagine. You just, you, you want to, I, I, I just, uh, just knowing, seeing the pilots and the commanders from previous missions accessing the panel, wanting to get through their checklists. You know they're really soaking in this moment, <laughs> but at the same time, they are thinking about those next steps. What do I have to do to prepare to make sure we're ready to launch on time today? Exactly. They must be so excited, but this is their job at the moment, right? right. They're actually... SpaceX Endeavor, we're in section one, decimal three, ready for comm checks. SpaceX copies, stand by for umbilical comm check. And you can see on your screen that seat rotation has now begun. They are rotating from upright to the recline launch position. And this will give Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur access to those display panels right above them. And it's very slow and steady, but this is a pretty cool view that we have here on our An screen. An amazing <laughs> view, really. You can see how much uh, cargo space we have under those seats as well. Dragon SpaceX, seats are in the launch position. Copy, great news. As you can see, we are preparing for the closure of the side hatch. The closeout team there in the black SpaceX flight suits that you see have performed a final FOD check, and they've gotten the final OK from the crew inside the capsule to confirm that they are indeed ready to go to space today. As you can see, the side hatch has just been closed. This is a little bit more complicated than it may seem. So it's this initial closure, and then there will be uh, actual mechanical closure using a torque wrench, which we should see here momentarily. Might be, yeah, we can see that happening now. Um, and then afterward, we will inflate the seal that's around the side hatch in order to do that leak check. We'll, we'll inflate the seal, apply a pressure basically, and make sure that the hatch is able to hold that designated pressure for a couple of minutes. Crew access arm retraction started. There you see a live view of the crew access arm retracting away from Crew Dragon in preparation for launch. Uh, shortly thereafter, we should hear the call out that the launch escape system is armed. And from there, we'll hear that Falcon 9 prop load has started, which is one of my favorite milestones of the launch countdown. There's a shot of oh, the there space station. There it is. Yeah. Everybody wave. <laughs> <laughs> They, they're waving down at us. I think yeah. they're watching right now. So. They are. You know they are. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. We, we see you. Uh, so that's super cool. Dragon, SpaceX, confirm crew displays are configured for launch. Displays are configured for launch. SpaceX copies. Shane, Megan, Aki, Tama. We're thrilled to have crew on board Endeavor once again, and truly honored to have you, you all at the helm. It's been a pleasure training alongside you ahead of this historic launch. We wish you a great mission, good luck, and enjoy the ride. Thank you, Chad, Christian, Frank, and all the teams who got our crew and vehicle ready for this mission. We want to say a special thank you to our families and friends. We're incredibly grateful for your support and sacrifice during our training and our upcoming flight. Our crew is flying astronauts from NASA, ESA, and JAXA, which hasn't happened in over 20 years. We're excited to represent our nations, agencies, and all of humanity. Off the Earth, for the Earth, Endeavor is ready to go. All right, some celebratory handshakes from inside the Crew Dragon. That was the voice of the core, uh, Chad Healy, here in uh, Mission Control Hawthorne.
Dragon has transitioned to terminal count and is on internal power. Stage one locks load is complete. Gas closeout has started. Expect loud venting. Dragon is also in auto idle. The flight computer is on Dragon. Maintaining their calculations, standing by, waiting for the T0 mark. One minute, 15 seconds until launch. The one minute mark Dragon will transition to countdown and the flight termination system will arm. The computers on Falcon 9 will be talking to the computers on Dragon and can issue an abort if necessary. FTS is armed. Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. Dragon is in countdown. All right, 50 seconds to go. Everything is ready for an on-time launch today. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Copy, go for launch. Ground teams are ready and the crew inside Dragon is ready. 30 seconds to go yeah, until launch. Seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission and liftoff. Got speed Endeavor and crew 2. Copy, 1 Alpha. Endeavour launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2 now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The vehicle is pitching downrange. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on the first stage performance so far. We are T plus 30 seconds into the second rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon 9 will be throttling down the nine Merlin engines shortly here in preparation for in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And there's that call out for the throttle down. Maximum dynamic pressure max Q is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. So throttling down does help us pass. Throwing down helps us pass through this period, which should be coming here shortly. Q. There's our call out that we have just passed through Max Q. Stage one, throttle up. And one we can Bravo. Now... Copy, one Bravo. All right, one Bravo is the second abort mode on the first stage. The first stage continues to fire for two minutes, 35 seconds. One and a half minutes into today's flight. Falcon 9 now traveling at more than 1,500 miles an hour. MVAC engine chill has started. All right, the engine chill for the second stage single Merlin engine has started. About 30 more seconds of the first stage firing to bring our four astronauts into orbit. Now from here coming up in about 20 some seconds, we're going to have three major milestones. We'll have shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. We're beginning to throttle them down. We will then get stage, stage separation. Throttle down. And then we will get ignition of the second stage engine to propel Dragon and the Falcon 9 second stage into orbit. Two hey, Alpha. Copy, 2 Alpha. Confirmed. Acquisition signal launch. In the commission. And we have ignition of the second stage. You see the green flash of that T-TEB fluid? The ex extent expansion nozzle on the second stage Merlin vacuum glowing that bright red that we like to see. Good performance on the second stage so far. 
And on the left side of your screen, we saw the uh, exhaust of the second stage engine streaming past the first stage as the grid fins are coming out. We also briefly had a view of the lights of Central Florida in the background. Currently, the first stage is continuing to coast up to Apogee. It's unpowered. It'll reach a peak height and then begin to descend back down toward the Earth's atmosphere, where it will light three engines to slow down in preparation for what will be a landing burn on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the grid fins are deployed. Right now, the first stage Dragon pulsing. SpaceX trajectory nominal. We're pulsing the thrusters. Signal of Bermuda. Copy, nominal trajectory. And we hear a call out from the crew, nominal trajectory. So we're beginning to move the first stage into position so it can do the entry burn. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Right on cue, those check-ins on the second stage performance. Once a minute, everything's looking good on Page that second stage. Propulsion is nominal. Stage two continues to climb, the vehicle now exceeding 8,000 miles an hour at an altitude of about 124 miles. And just about one minute from now, we will begin the entry burn of the first stage. That'll consist of lighting the center engine, and then shortly afterwards, two more engines for a three engine burn to slow down the first stage in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Another check-in and the crew confirming they're hearing the same thing. The vehicle exceeding, are about to exceed about 10,000 miles per hour. Meanwhile, first stage down at 90 kilometers, getting ready to relight three engines for the entry burn. Stage two FTS has saved. We've got the center engine ignition and there come the two side engines. Now this entry burn will last about 29 seconds. It's gonna significantly slow down the vehicle in preparation for hitting the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Entry burn complete. We're down below 35 kilometers, continuing to look good on the first stage, heading to the Atlantic Ocean for a landing on the drone ship. While well, second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Stage two in terminal guidance. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Shannon called out at the back end of the stage two, a few seconds until cutoff. MVAC shutdown. Dragon SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. Launch escape system disarmed, copy. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Copy, nominal orbital insertion. All right, the Falcon 9 second stage has done its job delivering our four crew into orbit. We hear the applause here in Hawthorne. We're waiting to get a video signal back from the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And the view from the onboard camera, we saw it just briefly. It looks like first stage on the drone ship. Getting views of the Dragon trunk. So the first stage is on the drone ship, successfully landed. 
And more importantly, second stage is in a nominal orbit with the Dragon spacecraft getting ready for some important events coming up, Gary. That's right. About two more minutes, the Dragon and the second stage of the Falcon 9 will be in a coast phase. It'll take that long until the spacecraft separates from the Falcon 9. Of course, both uh, now in a nominal orbit. It's great to see some of the views of the Earth as it passes by over the North Atlantic Ocean. All right, we're getting shots of the crew in orbit. I'm looking uh, for that zero G indicator. Can't seem to see it in this shot, but we have a minute to go until we have uh, spacecraft separation. Dragon traveling at nearly 17,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 124 miles. Again, the four-person crew of Endeavour is in orbit right now. Less than 30 seconds until we have spacecraft separation. Ten seconds to spacecraft separation. We should hear words from the core here in uh, Mission Control Hawthorne once we have successful separation. Thanks for flying our first flight proven crewed Falcon 9. See you side, crew two. Thank you very much. We're great. It's glad to be back in space for all of us, and we'll uh, send our regards to crew one when we get there. Thanks. Absolutely stunning views from both inside the cabin, seeing the excitement of our four-person crew inside Endeavour, and watching Endeavour drift away from the camera on the second stage as the Earth passes by on an orbital sunrise. Hello, everyone. Welcome on board Endeavour. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Right now, we're over kind of eastern South Africa, so uh, it's really great looking out our windows, and we get to see some pretty cool stuff up here, but we had an incredible launch. Um, hopefully, you guys got to watch it this morning. Uh, as right as the sun was rising, we took off. Uh, we chased the sun pretty quickly and caught it up uh, just a few minutes after we took off. That was pretty special to see the sunlight coming in um, shortly after liftoff. Uh, we're going to show you around the vehicle real quick, uh, and hope you guys really enjoy it, and I'll pass it over to our pilot, Megan. MacArthur. Hello, Earth. It's uh, great to be back in space again after a few years for me. Um, the ascent was incredible. The ride was really smooth. Uh, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Uh, there may have been some hooting and giggling up here uh, while all that was going on. We hope you enjoyed the show as well. Um, I'm, I'm kind of relearning. I'm like a baby bird here, relearning how to move around in uh, microgravity. It feels really good, but it feels a little bit weird, too. Fortunately, it's a nice small space that uh, I can relearn to move around together. I'm I'm going to hand it over to uh, Toma, who's going to show you around a little bit of what I up here. 
Thanks, Megan. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm uh, Thomas, Mission Special Hub, your tour guide today uh, in the Crew Dragon Endeavor capsule. Thanks for flying with us. Welcome on board. Uh, our commander, Shane Kibro, welcome your pilot, Megan McCarter, also. And uh, next will be Aki Hoshide. So as you see, it's pretty roomy. The ride up was fantastic. This is the hatch behind this. Of space, harsh temperature, temperature, bad environment, bad stuff. Inside, very comfy. We feel very well protected. Everything is great. Um, if you if you get closer, you can get a view out the window, and I'll try to give you that. If the cable is long enough, and this is what we get to see. Coming up on Madagascar, but it's cloudy. I don't think you get a good view. But we'll try to get pictures, and I can show you maybe. The cargo area down there, because uh, this vehicle is bringing people up to space, but also cargo. And if you follow me, and I'm going to flip and try not to make everybody sick, down there is where we have a little cargo. There's free, there's uh, freezers. Uh, this is our suits, nicely packed. This is some more cargo. We have our, uh, our uh, water landing equipment. This is all nice and tidy. And behind those walls are a lot of other equipment that we need, clothes, food, and etc. So with that, uh, now that you're familiar with the capsule, I'm going to hand you over to Aki Hikohoshide, Aki for short, from JAXA, and he's going to give you some more information. Hello, Earthlings. Uh um, one thing, uh, this capsule looks just like our mock-up simulator in Hawthorne, except you can't do this because we're upside down. And this is actually the hatch that goes to the uh, International Space Station. And once we dock, uh, we're going to open this hatch and get on board and uh, see our friends uh, who are up there right now. Now, we have a fifth crew member. And uh, as uh, you can see, Shane is holding him right now, but he can actually fly. It's a penguin that uh, our boys uh, chose, um, and uh, his name is Gwen Gwen. Gwen Gwen. Welcome, Gwen Gwen, to space. That was really cool seeing Gwen Gwen uh, start flying after we hit zero G. Um, tomorrow, Aki talked about we're going to dock to the International Space Station. Uh, it's going to be around 5 a.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. Hope you guys can join us for that, but it's going to be great to, to get on that forward port on the space station and join our friends there. Crew 1 is on board along with uh, Expedition 65, a couple of Russians, and Mark Van de Hei. So uh, we're looking forward to joining that crew and having a, a big time up there with 11 people on board. Megan, any closing words? And I think we can just show folks kind of what our environment looks like up here, Shane. Uh, these are the displays that we use to monitor the spacecraft systems through all the different phases of flight. So we had uh, displays up, of course, during ascent, and then we'll have some uh, ability to monitor the docking sequence as well. All of the burns that will get us closer to the space station will eventually be able to see uh, different kinds of images of the space station on our screens as we get closer. And then, of course, uh, once we contact the space station will monitor uh, the docking system mechanism uh, using these displays as well. So it's pretty neat uh, to see the touch screens and uh, all the different facilities that they have. We can bring up different um, systems pages while we're working uh, through the different activities. So those are something, uh, something neat to see rather than the old-timey steam gauges. We have these pretty cool touch screens that we can use. One thing I'll add before we sign off is uh, Tama noticed a little while ago, after we were getting out of our suits, uh, he looked out the window when he saw our second stage pretty much flying in formation with us just underneath us, and that was very special. So we all rushed to the windows to look at that for a little while. So that was pretty cool. So uh, we're we're enjoying our uh, first day on orbit. So we got a lot more to go, and we're looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of our capsule, and uh, we'll be in a much bigger environment tomorrow once we dock with the International Space Station. Have a great day. Take care. So long from Endeavor. Well, thank you so much for sharing those views with us and giving us a glimpse into life on board dragging and uh, letting us meet Gwen Gwen. Thank you again.